You I, like pork chops? A little bit, yeah. I like pork chops too. Mm. We're gonna do some fried pork chops, y'all. I got some canola oil here heated up to about that much. I got some eggs. How many eggs got you some, got? How many eggs? Four. Just four eggs? Four eggs. Four large eggs. Sorry about the neighbors mowing, y'all. Yes. This is all purpose flour, non brand. A little Where's bit of cornstarch to make it crispy. And some Tony's. Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning. This is some budget, cheap ass pork chops. Hey man, whatever works, right? Seasoned with groovy shake. Yeah. So here's the way we're gonna do this. We're gonna go flour. Flour. Eggs. Are you gonna double batter them or? Yes, I That's am. It's gonna be messy as shit. Yes, it is. Back in the flour. Messy as heck, y'all. Pardon me for that. Ah, uh, we can say shit. Just can't say that other word. We're gonna go back on the rack, you know? Yes, back on the rack, we're gonna let that breading set. Okay. Flour, egg, flour. We want a good coating on there because we want these crispy. Crispy, back on the rack. While he's doing that, y'all, yes. we will uh, take a brief pause for these fine messages that are going to follow. After these messages, we'll be right back. Exactly. Getting set it better. See y'all. All right, y'all, we're back. The pork chops are battered. Flour, egg, flour. Yeah, and they feel bad, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We'll do this. Kind of a shallow fry. About two minutes per side. That's like the sixth one. Yes. You got a timer going? It's up here. Hey, y'all, we hit 250, but we don't know who 250 was because their uh, profile yeah. was set to private. So we don't if, know who, who you are. So if you know who you are, you know that you're 250, send us an email, yes. please. If you were a subscriber 250, email us. Yeah, so we can get your address and send you your uh, hat. Or comment on this episode. Yeah. When it airs. But we, Ayers, but we need your address. And the air, air, I'm going to set a timer for one minute now. Because it's already been about a minute. It smells good. Yeah. Don't know how it's going to taste, but it smells good. Well, this is your first time doing something. My pork. first time ever frying pork chops. I've smoked them, I've grilled them, I've baked them, I've pan seared them. I have never fried a pork chop. And y'all right over there, on that one we have a butt going for a little meet and greet we're doing at the yes, uh, we do. Dark Woods. Y'all come out the whole month of October, we will be doing the, uh, I'll be filming and working out the Dark Woods for the uh, Dark Woods Haunted Forest again. Y'all come out. Easy. 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 <laughs> That's what you call Jamie messing with the kids. Yeah. It was better than looked, going, eh. She looked so serious. Are we being loud? <laughs> it wasn't yeah, that it, it was it was the F bomb. I heard in the background. I'm just sticking with you to get ready to flip it, that's all I'm doing. I guess we could have went live with this one too. We might go live in a minute. No, no, it's floating. That one should be ready. It's floating. Not brown enough. Not brown enough. All right. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them gingerly. It's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. We want them super crispy. I was watching that, so looking through the camera right now. Y'all. Ooh, he's yeah, kidding me. Southern fried pork chops like your mama made. Well, this is going. We will see y'all in a second. I'm not gonna worry about a timer, y'all. No, we're just going. You're gonna go by field. field. So we'll see y'all when this batch is out and the next one's in. Right? Good with you. Two and two. Two and two. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. See. You. Hey, y'all. We got a couple of them done. They're resting over here, cooling off because uh, they be hot. That's yeah. a pretty looking pork chop right yeah. there. 
You got two more down? You got two more down. Hey, y'all, when you when you do pork chops, you gonna fry them like this or do a quick grill or like a pan sear, get the thinnest, cheapest pork chops you can get. Don't buy that big, you know, these are bone in, but they were cheap. Like $1.63 a pound. <laughs> now the thin boneless pork chops, the breakfast chops, they're good fried yeah. too. But the store ain't had none of them. So, no. you know, there's that. We'll go ahead and flip these gingerly. Our grease is right at 350-ish degrees. And the fire just went out. And the fire just went out. Isn't there a song called that? Yeah, but this is fire when I'm gone. Yeah. Do we need a lid for the uh, pork chop? I got some foil over here. Is your bottle out? Bottle is out. So once we figure out what we're gonna do, y'all, we'll be back. We're gonna swap bottles here in about half a second. Yeah, we're gonna swap bottles. So we'll be back. <laughs> Last two pork chops, y'all. Gingerly, gingerly lay them away from you towards Jamie. Yeah, splashing on me. If if grease splashes on Jamie, it will not hurt me. Y'all go back and watch the episode where uh, we cook for my. Uh, retirement party you will see Bert throwing grease all over me. Uh, yeah. I baseball tossed the wings into a fryer and uh you got me and Mike. It didn't end well. It did not end well. Y'all yeah. look at those. Yeah those are some just look at them. Those are glorious. Did it get to the color you wanted? Yes. You know what color I wanted? Pretty pork chops. Mm -hmm. These things will kind of float, and now, now this is a discovery for us. It's the first time Bert has ever fried pork chops. Yeah, y'all can comment and call us idiots. We don't mind. We'll see what the end result is. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what the end result is. Look, I found a glove. I got all kind of stuff yeah, in the pocket. In there. Anything in the zipper pocket? I got this. Wait. You need to clean that. I got that. Need to clean that one. Yeah, Where's the other one? You clean a leather. The other one is being cleaned. They make leather cleaner for that stuff. I know, but what about the canvas? They make canvas cleaner. But how do you clean leather and canvas together? Are you gonna daub it? I actually put the other one. Are you? I, what do you call it? Blotting it? Yeah. I sprayed the other one down with some cleaner. Yeah. And put it through the washing machine. I wish I could figure out what to get. Remember, this is the shoe that had the bad thing happen to it. And now it's scarred up because of the bad thing. The bad thing. Over at jeans. Uh, are you still wearing them? Throw those away. They're, they were brand new. Throw, 12 years ago. No, they were, and I haven't worn them since that. This is the first time they've been on my feet since that night. Oh, I thought those were the boots. No. I'm sorry. No, these are my these. My bad, my bad. Jamie wore the same pair of pull-on, comfortable Skechers boots for 12 years. Still got them, still wearing them. Throw them away. Nope, ain't gonna happen. I'm going to sneak over to your house and burn them. They'll get your ass shot, that will happen. But these shoes I got on, it, here, I'll show y'all. They're all boogered up right there because something happened. Boogered up? Boogered up, yep. That's a, that's a country slang. <laughs> they give, you know, that's in the handbook they give you when you uh, turn 10 years old around here. You got to be 10, though, before you can get the handbook. Dude, don't act like you can read. They has got pictures. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a coloring handbook they, they you know, hand out to you. So. so it's a coloring book or a handbook? It's a handbook that teaches you all the southern it's slang. It's a handbook like handball? It's a, it's a handbook that's in the form of a coloring book. So you can color while you learn the Gumma different crayons? phrases. While you uh, learn the different phrases. Does it come with crayons? No, you got to buy your own crayons. Yeah. Oh, I need to give a shout out to Mr. Terry Weaver. Terry, you emailed me. I emailed you back. You have not answered. Answer your email with an address. And you're going to get some groovy shake and a sticker, sir. Yeah. And number 250, email comment us. on this video. Email us. Or email us, somewhatmediocrecooks.gmail.com. If, if you just email us. Link emails in yeah. the description of the channel. Be honest. Now, here's what's going to happen. If number 250 does not reach out, nope. we're going to 
Let's take it to another number. Yeah, if, if we're gonna give it a, a couple of weeks. If we don't hear from yeah. 250, then we're, uh, we're we'll figure out something from there. But here's the thing: when we do a giveaway, your profile has to be set to public. Does Billy have one? Billy, I know several Billy. Billy, we're gonna see tomorrow. Does he have a? No, he does not. Well, we need to get Billy one. Yeah, we need to get Billy one. All right, y'all. I'm gonna pull these. Look at that. Now, I'm gonna give him a few more minutes. Work to the level of brownness that I wanted. And we did a quick live while we were doing this one too, y'all. So you can go back and watch the live. Yeah, we were gonna give away a sticker to someone who commented on the live. <laughs> nobody, and nobody watched it. Comment. <laughs> nobody watched it. So, you know what? Whatever night it is, y'all just. You know, if you ring that ding a -ling bell, you get notifications. Hey, somewhat mediocre is live. They might be giving stuff away. Well, we're going to see we'll y'all right when we are uh, trying the next thing you see will be us trying this. this Pope chops. Pope and stuff. So we will see y'all in a minute. Pope chops. How y'all doing? See this knife? See them pork chops? Got stuff all over it. That's a pork chop dough. Okay. My first ever fried pork chop. I'm impressed. That's pretty good. Yes. Juicy, tender, Sorry bite through. Light. I don't know it washed it out. But. Very seasoned. For me, I would have put maybe some Lowry's in there with the Tonys. Yeah. Need a little bit of extra kick to it. Wow. A little Tabasco. A little mustard. Oh, we should have done cooking with mustard. We'll have to try that next time. Do a mustard rub on a pork chop and yeah. then season it yeah. and then batter and fry it. Uh huh. Wow. That was pretty good, though. I'm impressed. Really good. Really good. Cool. Y'all, pork chops are cheap. We're going to start focusing on affordable recipes. Yeah, because things are getting so damn expensive now. Yeah. Pork chops. Uh, leg quarters, yeah, because leg quarters are dollars sixty a pound. Yeah, country style ribs. Give me a little piece. Just a little piece. All right, a big hazel piece. Which one you get hazel? Yeah. Ready? Can you see it? Can you see it? You ready? Easy. Good job. Anyway, I'm sorry. I interrupted you. I know hazel needed a piece. Those are damn good. Yeah. While you're yeah. cutting, give me another piece while you're explaining what's going on. Those are damn good. These are bone-in pork chops. If you do the boneless pork chops, they're a little bit easier to trim up and stuff. But a pork chop is a pork chop is a pork chop. And I'm sorry, but y'all correct me if I'm wrong. When it comes to pork chops on a grill, I like the ugliest, cheapest pork chops with a bone in them that you can find. Yeah. Because them cheap ass pork chops, mm, they're good. Yeah. Anyway, yeah what were you saying? We're doing more affordable recipes? Yeah, more affordable recipes. Not that we've ever done anything expensive. We're going to be doing some pork chops, country style ribs. We're still uh, doing the one I wanted to do. You keep pushing off. Yeah, leg quarters. Remind me of that one. I will when we get off camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. Leg quarters, um, spam. We need to do fried spam sandwiches. We need to do that. We just need to do some burnt ends again, just a munch. Yeah, back. some burnt ends. Yeah. Mm. Y'all fry a damn pork chop. Get that grease hot, throw the pork chop in. With this being said, number 250, reach out, comment on this episode, or send us an email. Email, please. Email better. <clears throat> yeah, I... Ooh. I'm just having a moment. Those are so damn good. The vapor lock there? No. Y'all like, subscribe, share, touch that dingling where you get a notification. Everybody knows what to do. Yes. Same fat time, same fat channel. Yep. Peace, love, and pork chop grease. <laughs> Later on. You still do it. Let me try it again. There you go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Later on. Mediocre, not just mediocre. Let's start over. Bumping the damn camera today. <laughs> Cut that off with doing those things. Bama. You already told him good evening. We're just coming back.
Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, just <laughs> stop and delete that. Don't say that again. Okay. Why are you going to punch me in the head? Because the camera wasn't on? Yeah. All right. Are you through fidgeting? Y'all want to hit off this? Yeah. I'm going to lick the spatula. <laughs> I'm going to lick the silicon spatula. <laughs> I'm going to put these onions back here. <laughs> I'm going to put the onions back here so I can like, turn around and go wait, get the wait, onions. Wait. Do that again. How did it go? Raise it up. <laughs> All right, now pop it down. <laughs> How did you go? I'm going to sit on the bar still and what? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> go. All right, y'all. Uh, <laughs> sorry. We forgot to put in here? What? Well, Peckers and snouts. Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to get another shot. <laughs> Do a mic check. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Yeah. What's up, Mike? Um, Have a so mic. Check my mic. 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 Check. Mic. Check. Do a mic check, y'all. Hey. Mic check. Mic check. Mike's fine. Why are bit, you worried about Mike? A little bit louder. I haven't seen him in a while. Mic check. A little bit louder. A little louder. Mike, Jack! There we go. <laughs>